Hey guys, I go by the name of Illuminous Eyes, and today I got a really quick message, and this one's going to be for Pisces. Pisces, I got two different decks. I'm going to pull a card from the angels, and I'm going to pull a card from um, the traditional, okay? Can I get a card, please, for the angels, from the angels for Pisces? What does the angels have to say to Pisces? It says savings, Pisces. As you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is part of your self-care and a path to feeling secure as you focus upon your as you focus upon your future. So I'm getting some of you guys just had a child. Okay, if you if you are with a child, if you're pregnant right now is what I mean, if you've just had a child, start a savings fund. This is not going to just be for your security. I mean, just for your child's security. This is also for your security. I'm also getting something about um, <clears throat> family assets. I think that you have some type of asset, Pisces, whether this is money, land, house. Okay. I feel like this this was given to you. You're on so you could be on someone's will. Okay? Just know that you have something in the future coming to you. But it but you still are required to save right now. There may be something that when you get whatever this is, whatever this is that you're on, when you get it, you may need to um invest in it more. You may want to. I feel like this card is a confirmation. Someone someone has been thinking about saving. Well, I need to I need to put this to the side. I need to implicate a savings plan. Confirmation. You are right on the mark. Can I get a card please from the sun deck? Pulling the sun deck card. Is there a, a um message? Yeah, Cupid. Okay, so love. Cupid to me is a Pisces. Okay, so okay, so we're dealing. So Pisces, are you dealing with another Pisces? So we're talking about love, though. Love is on the table. Love is not um, just about relationships. Okay, the traditional tarot gave me the two of wands. So maybe you need to make a choice in love. Maybe you have two decisions in front of you. Okay. And it's time to make a choice, Pisces. I feel like if you are dealing with two different people, one's a Pisces, one's an Aries, I feel like um, the Aries is a good choice for you. I feel like go to the connection that's more peaceful. Go to the connection that can actually help you with your future because I feel like the Aries always has a plan about the future. They're always planning their next step. And I think that you like that. I feel like if you're dealing with a Pisces, this person has vision, but no action. The Aries or this fire sign has both. I feel like there is an Aries that's coming to you with a plan about the future. You're going to love it. I think the Cupid card is here is that you guys are supposed to be working together. You guys are supposed to be together. I don't know why or how the connection is between you, but you guys are supposed to be together. Yeah. Things could be moving fast with the connection that you're in. You're, you're you're right where you're supposed to be. It's going the pace that it's supposed to be going. I also just heard choose the path of self-care. Whatever path that is, that's the path that you need to take. Whatever self-care is to you, that's the path that you need to take.
there's a need of you needing to work on your throat chakra because I feel like you have been like suppressing a lot these days. I feel like your throat chakra is all messed up. Every time you go to speak, you mumble your words or you stutter or it's like you can't find the words to explain what's on your mind. There's a need for you to work on your throat chakra. Last words for the two of ones for Pisces for today. I'm getting today, do something that you love. Get outside, Pisces. I feel like you like to go by the water or you like to be by lakes or something like that. You could just literally just like to sit outside. Do that. I'm getting, if you have, if you're in a, a, a um, I heard the words debacle. And then I heard spickle, spackle, whatever. If you are, if you are in some type of um, dispute, argument, or a tough situation, possibly with a, a water sign or in uh, Leo, I heard kill them with kindness. You're good at that. You know all about kindness. You know all about love. I feel like someone's routine or attitude is built with a lot of self, low self-esteem and they may be projecting that on you. Kill them with kindness. They already know what a lack of self-worth is. They already know what it means to feel low. So don't meet them there. Meet them with love and kindness. Yeah. Overall deck, Chariot. I just heard uh, Beyonce, a lot of love, heal us all right now. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing Beyonce's song, um, One Plus One. So it, you're loving someone that has a lot of low self-esteem. A lot of self-doubt. They're always feeling vulnerable. I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign. It could be an earth sign. could be a water sign. Whatever you're doing, <clears throat> you're doing a damn good job of it. You're doing with strive and grace. Even if it is hard. Even if it is difficult. Good for you. That's what I got for you.